Let's start my presentation. I'm Kentaro Tanaka with NTT. NTT is, the, uh, NTT is one of the biggest cloud service providers in Japan. Today, I'm talking about high ability for VMs using Evacuate API. I introduce about VMHA. The virtual machine high ability is the automation of crashed VM restoration. The purpose is minimization of VM downtime, reduction in operational cost, and quick notification of VM failover to operator and users. For realization, for, realiza for realization of VMHA, we need implementation to restore a crashed VM automatically. I introduce about Evacuate API. If cloud compute node fails due to a hardware malfunction or another reason, you can evacuate instances to make them available again. If you use Evacuate API for VMHA, you run into some problems. I introduce <coughs> these problems <coughs> and our solutions. First, Nova Compute is silent, uh, suddenly silent. If compute node failed, all VM is also down. User service uh, stopped. So the administrator immediately and automatically detect a failed compute host and recover it. We use Pacemaker, our solution of this. Pacemaker can provide HA clustering to host and enable the fault detection with each other. If compute node is down, the communication of life or death monitoring signal is interrupted. <coughs> A pacemaker can now the failed node by detecting uh, detected that this signal is lost. We presented uh, this detail of this mechanism in last summit of Atlanta. So if you, if you need more information of this method, please show it. Second, Nova scheduler gets lost. <coughs> A current OpenStax Nova scheduler does not set, does not dist uh, cannot distinguish a host with shared storage or not. Because OpenStack does not manage ranges for shared storage. So if you use ephemeral disk with shared storage, you should manually select a host with shared storage. If you select with no shared storage, <coughs> uh, boot disk recreated from original images. This means user data on ephemeral disk is lost. <coughs> so before we select host automatically, we should detect a shared straight, uh, a range of a range for shared storage. Our solution. We detect a range for shared storage by pacemaker, by pacemaker cluster. As a precondition, we match a range for pacemaker cluster with a range for shared storage. Pacemaker cluster has the information of cluster members. By using this information, when <coughs> compute, ho compute host is down, we detect a shared a range for shared storage. And scheduling for evacuate can be executed in this range automatically. Third, third topic. Evacuate API has strong likes and dislikes. Evacuate API can not restore all VMs. You can only evacuate the following state VMs. VM status should be active or stopped or error. Task, task status should be only null. For example, in, in case user uses stop API or start API, we can evacuate stopped VM and active VM, but we cannot evacuate the VM between active, active and stopped. So we change VM state 
before use Evacuate API. And we, we need also the <coughs> treatment to suit the VM status. When a user uses start API on the failed host, we make VM status error. In, case, in that case, we can evacuate the VM, and the VM status after evacuation is active status. Summary of my presentation. A compute host for <coughs> fault can be detected instantly by pacemaker. We can detect we can detect a range for shell thread by detecting a range for pacemaker cluster. And rescheduling for evacuate can be executed inside this <coughs> range automatically. And we can evacuate also all of the <coughs> all of the VM by checking and changing VM state before use evacuate API. Finally, we will publish our project on Stackforge. I hope my talk is helpful to you. Thank you. <laughs>